Shindo Life has finally released the new update which includes the long-awaited entire new generation of tailed beasts. Oh wait, there's only one. That's okay. Shindo Life has finally released the long-awaited Gen 3 One Tails. And honestly, I only have a few problems with this. The first is that the drop chance is only 2%, which isn't the biggest deal. But man, my luck must have been really bad then. Because at the time of recording this, since release, I've streamed myself playing the new update for over 9 hours total. And I have not seen the scroll even drop one time. And I've spent all 9 of those hours only fighting the new boss like over and over again not doing anything else if you don't believe me you can go check for yourself all those streams are, are still up you, you can go look through if you don't believe me i also heard that rail games wanted to make this boss harder than most bosses so i'm expecting some hard hitting super epic move set and well what do we get when we hop in the game we get some punches that don't do that much damage he does a beast bomb that that's pretty cool there's like a sand platform thing that if you touch it, you know, the hand grabs you, which would also be pretty cool, but it almost always spawns above you, so you gotta be some kind of idiot to get hit by it. And his greatest move of all, falling asleep in the middle of battle. In my opinion, the only thing that makes this boss hard is that the devs made it so that most bloodlines meant for grinding bosses are just not usable on this boss. So, you know, you want to use your Xeno Dokai C-Spec? Well, too bad. It does zero damage. The new tailed beast apparently took about the same amount of time as it takes for them to make four to five bloodlines, according to the devs, which is cool, but will I ever be able to see and find out if that's true for myself who knows once you get the spirit there is four modes that you can get while leveling it up and a lot of new moves that come with it and the last form being like a baryon type mode and i'd love to you know talk to you and show you more about it but uh like i said i can't get it to drop my only real suggestion here would be to not even raise the drop chance, all right? I, I think 2% is fine, but at least give me something to look forward to, you know? Make it so even if I don't get it to drop from the 2%, that if I do it 100 times, then maybe I can get it, because then, you know, 2% is like 1 out of 50, so if I do it double that 100 times, man, I should have it by then, but for some reason, I still don't. The Tailed Beast wasn't the only thing that came out with the new update. We also got two new bloodlines. Well, we got two reskinned bloodlines. Dio Senko Rose is supposed to be based off of Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black from Dragon Ball Super. And if, you know, if you could have guessed, it just has the same moves as the Dio bloodlines that are already in the game. So I don't really have much to say there. The other bloodline skin that they added was Sun Knight, which is obviously based off of the Marvel character Moon Knight. And then we got Moon Knight. Did I say Moon Knight? Guys, yeah, it's Sun Knight, Sun Knight, Sun Knight, Shindo Sun Knight, right? It's called a reskin of the Vengeance Bloodline that's already in the game, but, uh, to me, it looked like they just copy and pasted Vengeance, all right? When you're leveling up Sun Knight, I noticed, it doesn't even say you're leveling up Sun Knight. It says you're leveling up Vengeance. And if you're in the Mastery tab and want to search for Sun Knight, because there's a million Bloodlines, uh, you won't find it from searching Sun Knight. But if you search up Vengeance... It's right there. This bloodline also contains the same moves as Vengeance, and you also get, with your C-Spec, a really cool car that doesn't move until after the hydraulics turn off, because that makes sense. But you can glide, so all is forgiven. Another thing that we figured out they did in this update was nerf a move called Reality Talk. And I don't even know if nerf is the right word for it. Because you see, before Reality Talk was a move that would do around a million damage to either a player or a boss. With the catch being, it would take about 30 seconds to cast. And, you know, if you get hit, the cast gets interrupted. But now, Reality Talk is a move that does 100 damage and still takes 30 seconds to cast. I don't think the devs really know how to properly nerf something because they might as well have just removed it from the game. In all seriousness, I know I shit on this update quite a bit in this video, and I'm gonna have a bunch of angry kids in the comment section, all right? And I'm not trying to hate on Shindo because I enjoy the game. I wouldn't have this channel pretty much fully dedicated to Shindo if I didn't enjoy it, but I just want the game to be better, and I think critiquing it might make it better eventually, because no matter how good it could be, you know, it could always be better. And if for some reason you still disagree with me and what I said, feel free to hit the dislike button, you know? Too bad it won't do anything because YouTube got rid of dislikes. Ben, am I going to get the tailed beast today? Is that a yes or a no? Yeah, it is. Oh! Ben says I'm going to get it! Let's go! Thank you, Ben! Lie to me?
Ben lie to me, bro? Am I gonna get it next try? Yes. Yo, he said I'm next try, I'm gonna get it. Ben lied to hold up, boys. We gotta call. We do I need to hop servers for him to drop it? Yes. Alright, you heard the guy. We You lied, Ben. Do you like other boy dogs? Yes. Ha! He's gay! That guy, I don't need him.